Stretching south from the U.S. border all the way into central Mexico is a landscape of rugged mountains and vast canyons. These are the Sierra Madre Mountains, the great mother range of northern Mexico. Living in the middle of the Sierra Madre, some 60,000 Tarahumara Indians, also known as the Raramuri, they're some of the best long-distance runners in the world. But how far can they run in the face of problems like environmental damage, loss of their native lands, and the drug war currently raging across Mexico? They've always lived in the boondocks, and they've always lived in very remote places, and to get around to chase down their goat herds, and it's just a natural thing to do. We all used to be very good runners, all of us, all, all cultures, and just the most of us have forgotten how. The Raramuri still live closer to their uh, traditional, they live closer to the earth, and they live closer to their genetic memory, if you will, and they, they run. For the Tarahumara, running has always meant freedom and survival. When the Spanish colonized Mexico in the 1500s, they survived by fleeing into the canyons, living off the land in isolated dwellings far removed from the modern world. When gold was discovered, they fled deeper into the canyons. Today, narcotics trafficking and drug cultivation are the latest threats to their way of life, and there's no place left to run. An American runner known as Caballo Blanco lives in the Copper Canyon of the Sierra Madre. He came here to run with the Tara Umara, and now he's fighting to preserve their culture. I wanted to do something to encourage their Raramuri, which is Tara Umara word for foot runners, and it's what they call themselves. And I wanted to encourage them to uh, continue to run free and to continue their age-old traditions of running. So I uh, decided I would make a foot race. The people here have started calling it the Copper Canyon Ultra Marathon Caballo Blanco, but I just call it the Copper Canyon Ultra Marathon. In 2009, more than 200 participants showed up for the 47-mile Ultra Marathon. Some call it the greatest race the world has never seen because of its remote location and forbidding terrain. It's a 75 kilometer uh, race. So there's an 18 mile loop upriver, an 18 mile loop downriver, and finishing with an 11 mile out and back. We allow 12 hours to finish and win 500 pounds of corn. Anybody who finishes the race wins 500 pounds of corn. The course runs back and forth along the Urique River, passing through small villages in the heart of the deepest gorge in North America. The race has drawn the attention of a growing number of international competitors who come here for a chance to run against the Rara Murray. This race is an intercultural exchange of trail running people. It's mixing uh, the ideologies of uh, gringo runners with the uh, format of Tarahumara runners and it's, it's mixing it up. It's got a little bit of everything. The Rara Murray never train, stretch, or warm up before races. They wear homemade sandals made out of tire tread strapped to their feet with leather and they're capable of running distances that would make an average marathon runner fall to their knees. Although the race is a competition, it's also a celebration of the Rara Murray culture and way of life. I invite the Raramuri from all over La Sierra Madre to come here and run with us. And it's their choice. If they want to come run with the gringos, if they want to come run on neutral turf, they come. And so far, 180 people have signed up and 150 Raramuri have showed up from all over the mountains. There's posters all over and people talk about it and after the race they talk about it and within a couple of months they're talking about what's going to happen next year and people look forward to it. It's a big party for most of them. Claro que sí. Nuestro estado y de la tierra es muy hermoso. Por la gente y por la belleza natural que tiene y que muchas gentes de otros países han venido a, a visitar esta hermosa Sierra Taromara de nuestra identidad del Estado Grande de la República Mexicana. Claro que sí.
We encourage people to come run whether they're good runners or not, even if they don't run anymore, just uh, to remember that it's a cool thing to do. And we're encouraging the Raramari to, you know, come out and run. And if you, you finish the race, you win. If you participate, you win. If you wake up in the morning and you feel good, you win. If you live the good life and eat the good food and have love for other people, you win. So the idea is, uh, is to point out to them that they're respected and they're doing the right thing. Uh, although shy and although living remote, they, they like to be appreciated just like you and I. We all want to be appreciated and they, they get a kick out of it. Anyone who finishes the race wins 500 pounds of corn and the top 10 runners also receive prize money funded entirely by donations. The primary sponsor of the race is a concept. It's not a corporation, it's a concept. The word is korima. It's a Tarahamara word meaning sharing. We have no corporate sponsors. It's all about sharing. The people are the sponsors. This race is for and by the people, with the people. So it's, a, it's very unique. In 2009, the fastest Tarahumara to cross the finish line was Arnufo Kimare, who completed the 47-mile race in seven hours and five minutes. The fastest overall runner was Will Harlan from the USA. So it was a great honor to run this race, just to share the trail with them, um, the world's best runners. And even though I finished first, I was wearing fancy shoes and fancy running gear. And these guys finished just a few minutes behind me wearing handmade sandals made of tire tread tied to their feet so it's not even a it's not a fair fight it's not even, it's two different races and uh, they're the real champions runners crossed the finish line all afternoon and well into the evening in total 105 runners finished the 2009 copper canyon ultra marathon the Ramri have it better off than many traditional uh, indigenous cultures left, uh, in which there are not very many left in, in the world, but because of being who they are and because of a certain, uh, a certain proud humility that they carry, seemingly a contradiction, but not a contradiction at all. They're proud and they're humble at the same time, and they exude this proud humility and I think people pick up that energy and I think a lot of people uh, respect them for that. The true champion of this race wears Arachis and um, runs ultra marathons almost every day. Um, and so all of my uh, winnings, all of my corn and all of my money go to the real true champion of this race, race Arnulfo Kimari. The international competitors give all of their corn and their prize money back to the community, however they choose. The Rara Murray Indians living in Mexico's Copper Canyon have managed to preserve their culture and survive for hundreds of years, but how long can they continue to survive, and how long will they be able to run free? You know, we like to... Uh promote and get out the idea that while they're at war, we come together to make peace here in the bottom of a canyon. We're creating peace and we're creating good things and uh, it's all we can do is do what we can. And this, this race event is uh, an example of that.